Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you again for joining. If you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. I hope that you'll stick around for a while. Um, I thought today I would do a quick flip of November and December in the A6 Rings pages that I used. Um, this is just an, a print pression um, cover that I bought, not realizing how um, the tabs would stick out when I bought it. So I use it for archival purposes, um, although it's a really nice soft leather. Um, I wish it was just a tad wider because I actually kind of like it. Um, but it was one that I got on, on sale uh, from their site and thought it would be good for holding holding refill holding refills holding unused pages archiving things um, once I realized once I got it that it was as narrow as it was and it was probably stated that way on the website I just probably didn't notice it at the time and it was a really good deal so it doesn't matter um, but it has a really nice crisscross pocket format similar to what you see with Foxy Fix and two slip pockets in the back so yeah I like it <clears throat> I just wish that it was a little bit wider Every time I use it, I get annoyed. Um, it usually doesn't make it out of my office because I can't put a pen in there. So that usually stops me. Anyway, without further ado, let's look at the last two months of 2021 in my ASICS rings. And if you can hear the dog toy in the background, I apologize. But it's a gloomy, rainy day. And so the dogs are in the house. And Sadie has a stuffed alien that she likes to play with. So we... We call the dogs Anarchy and Chaos, and there's a reason why we call them that. So anyway, um, these are the pages that I had at the front of my calendar uh, or the front of my planner last year. I've archived all of this. So these were kind of forward planning um, year at a glance and um, important dates to remember. I wish I could tell you where I got these from, but it wasn't anywhere on the page. So I don't remember, I apologize. These are from Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, fold out. I used two sets of these last year. One was for important dates. So the yellow was school holidays and then other dates, kind of like a Calendex kind of thing. Um, kind of fell off the bandwagon for the second half of the year. And then the other one that I used that I still have in my planner was uh, birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. And then these were the DIY Fish um, monthly month on two page that I used throughout the year last year so I kept the whole year of monthlies in there right up until actually I don't think I pulled I think I pulled the sec the first half of the year out probably about October um, but you can see a little bit of decoration some months a little more than others most of the months pretty minimal all Coco Daisy so here's October here's November Here's December. And then this was my look ahead for 2022. So all this has now been transferred into my 2022 planner. Um, but this is how I uh, avoided having to carry additional months looking ahead in the second half of 2021 so I could plan for 2022. I would just write things down here, kind of bullet journal style. And then when I set up my 2022 pages, I had all this to add. This was um, a little bit of a crazy period in November when I felt like I needed to have an hourly view. There was a lot of stuff going on that I was trying to fit in. And so I took these, um, took these pages and just inserted them in my planner, which is a nice thing about rings that you can do that. So, yeah didn't use them all so I still have a few and because they're undated I can use them if I need them I just stuck them in here okay so I'm back sorry about that I got a phone call and had to stop filming for a minute so anyway some of these are just pages that I'm holding kind of in here in a holding pattern until I need this is one from Peanuts Planner Co um, that I'm using one of these and I think it printed two so I saved the other one um, but I'm thinking about doing um, a year in pixels with codes for uh, like health and mood and wellness, that kind of thing. So I, that's what I'm using that for. Um, so then this moves into September, which I think I've already done a flip. So I'll just do a really quick flip here. Have my tracker, sleep tracker, 
uh, SM Plans tracker. This one was from Planner Room. And then my uh, monthly to-dos, my peanut, uh, excuse me, my DIY fish weekly and daily pages that I use. So the weekly is kind of forward planning and then the daily is um, more bullet journal style. And then I'll just kind of flip through. You can see it's very functional. Um, I, this was fall break, so there was no planning happening. Um, I think at this point I moved out of my rings and maybe into my weeks. I can't remember. Here's October. Again, had my pages all set up and I don't remember what I used for this part of October, but towards the middle of October I did come back into the, wing, the rings. Um, very basic. And you can see I punched the holes wrong and I just went with it, moved the punch and fixed it and didn't let it bother me. Um, yeah, so November, <clears throat> I printed this in Canva. This was a Coco Daisy vellum. There's my tracker. This um, is a um, vellum freebie and I'm having I'm having trouble remembering but um, Sterling Inc. That's who that's from. Sterling Inc. There's my to-dos for the month. Here's where I was using the hourly because I felt like I needed that extra view. Back into my regular week on two pages. Just a little bit of decoration. Um, very minimal. I don't do a lot in my um, planner in terms of decoration other than the washi on the end and I'm quite happy with that. Really the only place I do a whole lot of decorating is in the monthlies and that's part of why I felt like it was okay to um, to not to let go of my Coco Daisy uh, subscription because I just wasn't finding that I was using a lot of it. This was uh, the grocery list for our trip to the mountains in November where I had planned out menus and shopping um, items and just stuck it in there. This is the menu plan for our trip to the mountains. And then I didn't use this at all Thanksgiving week, not till we got back. This was our, uh, this should be back in the previous week, but it got stuck in the wrong place. More planning. And then this is where our this was just a divider that I created in my planner for notes where I had notes. And then these are um, some of the notes pages that I archived. <laughs> BJ shopping list, I can probably toss that. Um, extra paper, things I didn't use. Then this is my Christmas section. So this is where I had all of my Christmas shopping. Um, well, actually, I think that's further back. This is just December. And I used the previous year's Coco Daisy stuff as well as this year's Coco Daisy stuff. So here's my tracker, which you can see I did a stellar job filling that out in December. I didn't even put a single check mark. Um, December was kind of a wash for me. Here's my goals. Very minimal again, just a little bit of washy. Um, I guess I had those pages stuck together. Um, and you'll see as the days go on, I got sick. I'm trying to remember what day. I got sick right around in here. And so like this whole week, I didn't do any planning. I was just kind of in survival mode. Um, kind of got things going again here. And you can see I got sick. Um, so it wasn't COVID, but it really did a number on me. <clears throat> Still not completely over it. This is Christmas week and I didn't touch my planner until the first of the year. So there's nothing on these pages because I literally just left it sitting on my desk. We had family visiting and I just didn't even touch it. Um, these are just extra dividers that I pulled out that I had made and I'm not using right now. So I just pulled them out. 
Um, back here is my Christmas planner, um, some doctor notes, things like that, um, and just some other random, this is the Christmas planner <clears throat> that I created. So I just did this in an online tool and printed it out. And I had like four sections, so one for each person and could write down what I got in their stocking, what I got for them. Um, and then I also had pages like this where I just wrote down like baking, which didn't happen this year because I was sick. So this last section here is finances. So this is all of my bill tracking for last year. So if I need to look at it for record keeping, um, I have it. So yeah, just a quick flip. Same um, thing I pretty much did the whole year that I was in the A6 rings. But I did want to share with you uh, what I had used because it wasn't all just um, DIY fish. I am working on finishing up my setup for 2022. Thank goodness it's only the fifth and I still have time before things get, you know, crazy busy. So my plan this weekend is to finish my setup and film a video for you to show you how I have set up for 2022. And if you'll remember from my last video, I'm planning to use my uh, rings and also most likely um, my Hobonichi weeks uh, as well. Still working out which thing will be for which purpose but um, just about done. So I'll share that with you in the next video. And um, I hope that you are all doing well. I hope everybody is staying healthy. I don't know about where you live, but where we live, all the viruses are running amok and everybody seems to be sick with something. So stay healthy. And thank you again for watching. I look forward to uh, sharing the next video with you in a few days. Take care, everybody. Bye.